Good day, Shaving Cadre. Barber Dave here at Dave's Barber Shop at Home. Today is Friday, and uh, we're going to do a couple things different today. Uh, I do want to address uh, a couple things on our uh, third anniversary brush. Uh, I think it's um, pretty much universal that... Uh, uh, some of us think that the, the knot was set just a little bit too low. However, that being said, I did some comparisons uh, this morning and uh, last night on my other uh, synthetic knots. And what I noticed is that synthetic, not, synthetic knots obviously are different grades. And some of the fibers are packed more densely. And the problem in my mind, and once again, this is my opinion. This does not represent the TSC or the opinions of the owners. This is just my personal opinion. But I think that the density of the knots is wide ranging. Now, with the fact that it's a synthetic fiber, it is built for resilience. Now, this, I've already got soap in it, and this is going to lead to my to my second uh, point, is that the, the resiliency of the knot, based on the fibers that are packed in, unlike a badger, because we want a badger knot to have densely packed knots so it can fish hook and it can splay out. The problem is, with a synthetic knot, there's memory. Okay, it is a synthetic product uh, of the nylon plastic derivative, and so it's going to have a tendency to be springier right out of the gate. However, many manufacturers have gotten away from that by setting the knot very, very high. Um, now, it also ma matters the quality of the knots, like the cashmere knot that's in this. It's set very high, it is a fan, and it is perfect. However, I've got another one that is called the angel hair and you put it to your face and you're immediately feeling the glue bump. So there's no middle ground usually. Now, in comparison, uh, the knot that we have here and the knot we have here. Now this is an AMAC uh, synthetic knot and it is almost as springy as this and this, and for those of you that remember the old place, I had this made when I um, received the Jay Lindy uh, uh, straight razor, the gold dollar winner, this. So I had it made for this. And this knot is set fairly high and it's still springy. I've got an Omega Barbershop one that literally is, is more springy than the, uh, the shave cadre knot. So, um, and one thing I've noticed about the shaving cadre knot is the density, is the density is less in this knot. So it splays a little bit better than in the, uh, the TSC. Uh, the TSC uh, knot. However, this is my second time using it, and uh, I just for sh for giggles, I wanted to see how it reacted as a bowl lather because I, I do agree as a face lather, it's a little bit tough. You really have to work it in. But I've also noticed that the bristles are starting to loosen up a little bit. I've I've lost a few, which is okay in this synthetic knot because that'll release some of the tension between the you know the density of the knot. Um, also, I did something that I've never done on a synthetic knot before. I've done the old uh, magic uh, pre pre shave uh, brush treatment. And for those of you that don't know what that is, traditionally with badgers, you want to wash the knot, get all the funk out of it, and then I use Mitchell's wool fat because it just I've always used it. And you lather that knot up, set it aside for 24 hours, and ignore it. I'm not a chemist, I don't know what the chemistry is, but I can guarantee you that as soon as you rinse that knot out after 24 hours, the knot is perfect, fish hooked, bloomed, and everything else. So I tried that with this. Now, although it didn't bloom, it did soften the bristles up a little bit. I don't know if maybe, you know, with it being a synthetic knot, mostly these are nylon fibers, so they don't um, permeate, but it did help. Another thing I did today is I did a bowl lather rather than a face lather because of the stiffness. and. As far as a lather machine, um, you can see, now I am using uh, one of Mystic Waters, one of Michelle's soaps, but what it does is it allows the incorporation of a lot of oxygen and just builds a wonderfully shiny, sheeny uh, lather with just a little bit of, of uh, water. So if you're having trouble with this knot, I would recommend um, 
try bowl lathering with it. Try the, the magic. And basically the way you do that, I think I put it on a video quite some time ago. Uh, basically just wash the knot out, obviously, if you haven't used it. And then um, lather it very heavy and very pasty with um, a good tallow uh, soap. It doesn't have to be Mitchell's Wool Fat. I just use that because uh, it works. And then set it aside for 24 hours. Just, you know, get a good lather on it and make sure all the bristles are covered internally and externally and just let it sit for 24 hours. Now, for me, it worked. It may not work for everybody. So, so try that. So I think that that hopefully will uh, answer any questions as far as that knot's concerned. Um, synthetics are a weird egg. Uh, you either love them or hate them or you have kind of a medium thing. And I've got, like I said, I've got synthetic knots all over the place. And I think they vary heavily from manufacturer. And um, so I don't think that necessarily in this knot, the size and the loft on where it's set would make that big of a difference because looking at the density, uh, this is a very dense knot. So, okay, for today's shave, we're going to do another straight shave and we're going to be using uh, the Wacker chevalier uh, which is very similar to that jerry stark however it's a much shorter blade it's only a two inch blade which means this thing's a little grand prix racer and it can get you into trouble uh for the soap since it's the first day don uh i'm kind of cheating and doing uh doing it again but i'm doing mystic water jasmine because it's just a great soap and then for the aftershave slash cologne probably one of my favorites if i'm not going to be using anything else is penhaligon's savoy steam absolutely fantastic so we hope everybody's doing good. Um, I know that there has been some openings around the states, and so uh, that's a good thing. I know in California they're closing things down a little bit again because I guess, talking to Chris, they uh, they uh, people were a little bit uh, overzealous. Yeah, I can tell just in the second use of this brush that um it's softer plus using the the method that i use on badgers um now granted i did bowl leather so i'm not digging in to my uh pores as much to build the lather but that's a good thing so i've kind of adopted the fact that with synthetics um i will bowl lather a lot of times. The only synthetic knot that I've had that, you know, besides the cashmere knot that came in uh, a brush I got from Eric, um, the only other knot that I've found that acts similar to a Badger is the Muley um, XL. But that's an expensive knot. You can spend almost as much for that knot as you do on a Badger. So I'll be interesting because I piffed, or actually that was one of the prizes that I gave away for the Zoom call bingo, and uh, Jerry got it. And I hope that uh, he will report on it and tell me what he, what he thinks about it. Uh, it was a good knot. I mean, it was in a Rudy Vey uh, thing. And I had originally gotten that from Chris. I just don't use it anymore. Okay, let's see what happens today. The one thing about this uh, razor is even though the point is somewhat rounded and muted, um, it can still cause some issues. But still a fun, a fun razor.
to shave with. I actually like the shorter blade. It allows me to do a little bit more maneuvering. Okay, there's pass number one. We're going to go ahead and do, uh, rather than bore you to death, we're going to do our last two passes and we'll come back for final thoughts on the brush and uh, stuff like that in a few seconds. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, well, I would call this a good DSBBS shave, but a couple of touchdowns uh, wasn't moving the razor probably as well as I should have, or it could be an angry follicle, who knows. There we go. So overall, not not too shabby, except for that one little area, which I will hit with the alum stick. And while I'm at it, I don't use this very often, but might as well see how I did. Yeah, nothing. I mean, zero stink. Except in that one spot. So, edge is still good. Um, So, um, back to the, um, to the brush. Um, I do think that the brush is softening up. Uh, now granted, I've only used it twice. 
um, but doing the old magic thing I think helped. Uh, plus, I did. Uh, I do think that uh, uh, bowl lathering it uh, is uh, the ticket for me. So, um, but give the brush a few shots, um, you know, and uh, tell us what you think. Uh, I mean, it's just absolutely a, a gorgeous, gorgeous brush. So try that and uh, see what happens. We're going to use our uh, Savoy Steam. And I've said this before, I think. I think I've videoed this before. Basically, um, if you were to take... If for those who are, that are Penhaligon's nuts like I am, if you take Hammam Bouquet, or Blenheim Bouquet, rather, sorry... Uh, and mix it with, it's got a, I don't know how to describe it, but it's got a very clean linen, sterile, um, for those that are old enough to remember, um, it almost feels like uh, what you would do when you have uh, like uh, uh, fresh linen towels and uh, an alcohol rub down, I guess would be a good way of, uh, of explaining it and that was the whole idea behind um, them developing Savoy Steam is that it, they wanted it to feel like the old British uh, men's club bathhouses and so forth um, you know where you know you were given a massage by a guy by the name of Gunther and uh, you know he would beat beat the hell out of you so And then usually what I do with the uh, Savoy Steam is I'll do the talc. And then since this is an Oude Cologne, it's a little bit higher in alcohol. And uh, I'll just put a little bit more on. But the nice thing about it is it doesn't have a spritzer. You can put one on there. But you get a lot. I mean, this, uh, this is, uh, I'm not sure, but it's a ton. Uh, yeah, it's 200 milliliters, so 6.8 fluid ounces. And so uh, it's about the same price as uh, you get for some of the smaller versions like English Fern or Bayle and stuff like that. And then, of course, it's a lot less than uh, Blasted Heath and some of the other ones. So anyhow, that's it, Cadre. We certainly appreciate uh, you tagging along today. And as always, we appreciate you for being members and everything you do to help... Uh, promote our uh, lovely little forum here. If you've never been here before, once again, www.theshavingcadre.com. And please don't forget to uh, show up for our Zoom call next Wednesday. We'd love to see you there. And hopefully the radio show will be published sometime next week. So keep those comments going and questions for Chris, Chad, and I. Once again, uh, Barbershop at Home with Barbershop Dave. Thank you much.